This conference will now be recorded. But you can unmute and you can just give you about your quick intro. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, I don't know the, the issue with his uh, site. Okay. <clears throat> so welcome you all. Good morning. Uh, this is Ashok. I am your SAP Ariba trainer. I have total uh, more than 15 years of experience into SAP domain, predominantly into SAP Ariba. And uh, I did work on SAP materials management and warehouse management and supply relationship management. Okay, so I've done uh, almost uh, five to six implementations, I can say six implementations and uh, rollouts and support projects. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> So I just want to understand uh, before going to the uh, Ariba session, right? Do you have any expectations from this program or what kind of thing that you are looking for? Okay, if anybody can, if you have any thoughts on that or you have any prerequisites, okay. What is your expectation after this training? Okay. Jyoti or Rohit, if you have anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, thanks, Ashok. So my expectation is like at least um, after this training, we should be able to um, um, do some activities in Ariba independently. At least means like yeah. some process related um, into in cycle we can run confidently. Mm -hmm. And if there is some issue appears at least to uh, go to get to know that what is the root cause of this issue and how to resolve it. Correct. Correct. Okay. And one more thing, and uh, do we, um, it's like, this is from the uh, course, and one thing is that, will we get this demo sessions or all the sessions recordings also at the end of the yes. course, so that because what will happen uh, at the end of the course, if you done this course and uh, for one month or two months, we haven't done anything, then we'll mm -hmm. forget it. So Correct. if we have the recordings, that will be good anytime we can, refer those yes so we will be providing you the video material and as well as some of the documents okay uh, which are the certification related documents provided by sap and apart from that there are few other help aids that are there in the uh, from the open web sources and all okay yes. so i will and provide you the more, yeah I'm sorry to interrupt that one more thing that uh, means like will we get all the streams means uh, here in ariba there are uh, downstream upstream slp so all these areas uh, modules will be covered and all yes. the scenarios in scenarios will be covered that, that you would be getting a clear idea maybe uh, in another 30 minutes of this session okay so that what i would be covering what are the details that we would be seeing so what sap ariba contains and all those things so, okay. so and one, just last question that means what do you think that if we after this training that mm -hmm. uh, we'll be able to attend means like if can we put these things in our resume and can we go for um, means like uh, right now I'm working in a MM and so is it possible that I can um, go for an interview and then uh, work in an Areba support or implementation project? Yes, so that is the confidence that you would be getting after this complete uh, course. So I'm blindly telling and people also proved themselves like with, they are able to create, clear the interview by mentioning themselves as four years of SAP Ariba consultant. Okay, and uh, we are specially making one video related to the interview things. So how to clear the interview and one video related to the, uh, one help suppose uh, if you want to prepare your resume then i would be supporting you how to create update your resume and all okay what need what the things you need to keep what the things you are not supposed to keep if you keep something how to 
you what are the other stuff you require to clear those all those things okay so the minimum requirement see if you you are from sap mm background right uh, you know if you attend for sap mm interview what kind of stuff would come okay so org structure and all these things will come right your master data org structure po pr and then inventory list edge all these questions you would see automatically apart from that there would be some real time questions like you know on the project methodology mm -hmm. and as well as what is your recent issue that you have worked on so such things would come as a to to check your real time experience and all okay similarly here also we would be taking one session related to interviews okay what sort of questions would be coming how you can get prepare yourself so up to 85 to 90 percent of interview can be cleared the only 10 percent is depending on your luck and depending on the interviewer and depending on the you know some of the real time topics which you may not be getting exactly at that point of time but anyways okay it's a bit early in the game what we have discussed but uh, just to answer your question i i have uh, told this okay i think i have seen one more uh, join shashi uh, shashi can you just unmute yourself and quickly introduce yourself would you mind yes yeah, sir myself ajit sir um, yeah. okay uh, now I am uh, trying for SAP MM consultant job, sir. Okay. So already yeah. you are SAP MM trained then? Yeah, sir. I completed training from SAP MM. Okay. Now you are looking for Ariba, right? Yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So myself, Ashok, uh, since you are not yes, there. Yes, Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 sir. Yeah. Myself, Ashok. Okay. I am your Ariba trainer. Yes, sir. I come up with uh, SAP MM experience and as well as Ariba experience. Okay. Uh, okay. That. Okay. Ankur, uh, you can drop off if you want, not an issue because already you have attended the demo sessions, right? So I've seen your message. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, I think Rohit uh, dropped off. Um, he has some internet issue, it seems. But anyways. Uh, let me start continue with my demonstration. Um, I don't know how you are aware of Ariba, SAP Ariba and all, but it's my courtesy to explain, okay, what is SAP Ariba, okay, where it gets started and all these things. These are just for the, since you are learning Ariba, it's our courtesy to know about what is Ariba and when did it get started and all these things. Uh, in 1996, uh, the team developed this Ariba. And after in 2010, Okay, it got acquired by SAP completely, and now we are calling it as SAP Ariba. It's basically, we know the two kinds of offerings that Ariba would do, the on-premise and as well as the on-cloud. Okay, those who are having experience coming from the, any of the ERP knowledge, they would be understanding what they mean by on-premise and on-cloud applications. But majorly, Ariba is, in a lot of the customers, a lot of the people are going for on-cloud. No one is taking the on-premise uh, applications. On-premise in the sense, in our local server, we are installing it. Okay, that we are calling it as the on-server application. Okay, on-premise. Okay, somewhere the company is owning the complete server and then we are, you know, uh, responsible for maintaining its upgrade activities or uh, whenever Ariba releasing the new patches or whatever the new upgrades are happening. So it is our responsible to upgrade it. Whereas coming to cloud, it is somewhere in the cloud and maintained by the Ariba itself, the cloud technology they are maintaining with themselves. Okay, and you will be given a link to log in, okay, and then you are managing your business. That's mean they are just giving somewhere, uh, it's something like your Gmail. So Gmail, you don't know where the server is. Okay, you are just getting your email ID and password, and then you are managing your emails and all the data will be saved. So where from anywhere you can access that, right? So this is the difference between the cloud. I think somebody is waiting in the waiting room. Subhu, can you allow that person to join? Okay. Yeah, somebody, Akshay joined. Hey, Akshay, uh, hello. Uh, Akshay, can you hear me? Yeah, hi. Yeah, yeah, I can hear. Yeah, hi. Uh, 
maybe i will take your intro at the end uh, anyways we just started okay um, okay evolution and all so i'm just explaining about what do you mean by the cloud solution and what do you mean by the on premise solution okay so okay. everyone knows about this cloud solution is uh, where it's somewhere the server will be maintained and handled by some third party people and then we are uh, using this they are giving our money instance to us and then we are we are taking that instance and then we are using that instance so that the server maintenance is completely done by the third party it could be ariba or it could be some other azure or whoever it is but in ariba case it is maintained by ariba only the cloud they are maintaining by ariba itself so they are just giving the license so that you know you can log into the system and then you can do uh, they will create a separate instance for each company okay and that based on that instance you are doing all your configurations and you are able to use that uh, that 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 link for your business purpose okay okay so Alibaba is kind of a procurement tool uh, maybe who are coming from the sap mm background they would understand that they, they, they already know about ariba okay if those people who who are not from the procurement background or those who don't know anything about erp so erp is nothing but your enterprise resource management tool where you would be doing all your applications okay uh, your uh, hr your finance your procurement like the different different in a company there are different different teams would be there you will be having your hr team you will be having your uh, procurement team you are having your sales team all these people are using one erp tool so that they can maintain their data and they can do their transactions that we are calling it as erp just on simple terms and as once we start our class then i would be giving the what is complete erp background and all okay so in the erp procurement is one kind of business okay uh, the procurement is nothing but buying okay if you want to buy something for a corporate world you would be doing in a process wise okay so before buying anything from whom to buy from where to buy all these things we will decide how much quantity we want to buy all these things will come into picture okay suppose if it is my own business then i can buy from my pocket and then i will maintain in my ledger saying that hey could i i spent 5000 rupees to purchase of this and this okay but in a organization big organizations that is scattered all over the world okay how you can track the expenses how you can track your procurement activities how you can track how much spend that you are doing on a particular commodity or uh, suppose end of the year if, if i take my home example i want to see how much spent i have done on my rice bag how much spent i have done on my oil how much spent i have done on my sugar okay all these things how much medical things that i have spent okay so this this kind of report will give you kind of analysis suppose if you are using a credit card credit card people will give some kind of you know analysis chart what is your uh, where you are spending more you are expanding for your petrol or you are expanding for your restaurant food or you are spending for clothes more so that it gives some kind of analytics how that is giving the analytics based on your history based on the data or based on the transactions you are making similarly we are using this erp tool to track our transactions to do our transactions and these transactions will be like our history and then based on this data we are going to do our analytics that means reporting and then we will analyze and we will take the proper decisions based on our the business intelligence okay so this is the main use of the erp tool okay so now ariba is kind of a standalone pro procurement tool okay it's a purchasing tool okay so where you are having how to purchase what kind of purchase from which suppliers you are you want to purchase all these things will come okay so this is all about your just ariba okay what what is the ariba tool would do means ariba tool is well suited for the procurement applications okay you will not have any of your hr uh, or you don't see any of your planning things production planning things or you won't do any sales kind of things okay only little bit of sales on the contracts and uh, auctions are there but those are not core sole sales things okay these are the different modules which i mentioned right the procurement is one module okay and hr human resource management is one module and production planning is one module sales and distributions are one modules sap has all these integrated modules in their s4 system but ariba is only for procurement okay so now you would be getting a doubt saying that hey already we have a lot of procurement tools in the world okay like we have oracle we have and sap mm itself is a procurement tool and we have 
Kupa is one kind of procurement tool. We have JD Edwards. All these things are different tools are there. Then why Ariba? Okay. So Ariba is having a strong supplier network. Okay, where a lot of suppliers are registered and they are offering their businesses to different customers. That is one thing. And another thing is like it enables very easy integration with the other party tools like SAP, okay, or non-SAP things when compared to the other uh, tools because since it's acquired by sap you now sap has given some standard integration methodologies where you can integrate to your sap so if you take in the erp world majority of the customers that means 95 percent of the customers on sap okay so everyone will look to uh, integrate any other third party tools with their sap okay so that they do their respect to reference transactions and all so we will see why we want to integrate and everything okay um so this is the one reason so the integration with other parties are made easy and second one is it's a simple ui based user interface where you are just you know uh, the way you are booking your ircts tickets similarly you can do the things okay it's it's completely web based so people feel a bit easy when compared to the other tools okay even the coupa is now giving a big competition but the the main backdrop is it is not having the uh, SAP integration, the, the legacy SAP integration, the problem uh, that is the main problem, and this is not a sophisticated integration also. Apart from that, all other things will look like as Ariba, but anyways, it's up to the business what they want to implement. Okay. Now, what SAP is doing, right? SAP is offering with SAP S4, along with SAP S4, the success factors which is related for your HR management and Ariba. Okay. And uh, and as well as your um, uh, for expenses module okay so there are some other uh, modules which ariba is also included in the s4 license okay so that's why people are taking this and then they are implementing so now majority of the customers they are moving for ariba okay and a lot of the customers already moved now that's why you are doing, seeing a lot of demand on ariba and if you look at the future also since how long the sap is survived also, I say Periba also would survive, not an issue because it, it's again a lot of people are doing, a lot of people are implementing. Okay. So, if you have once you have implemented, you need support team. Okay. All these things. Okay. This is about the Ariba. Okay. Now, what are the things that is there in the Ariba? If you see in this slide, so now I'm showing the Ariba portfolio. Okay. <clears throat> we have basically, uh, you might have heard in Ariba upstream and downstream. Okay. So here, I just highlighted here with this red color box. This is the upstream modules and these are the downstream modules. Okay, now basically people are used to call it as upstream and downstream, but now we are not calling it as upstream and now downstream. Okay, so we are calling this as the strategic sourcing and we are calling it as the B&I. Okay, business uh, buying and invoice. Okay, but still if we call this as upstream and downstream also not an issue. Okay, but the latest terminology I'm just telling. Okay. So in the upstream, we get the modules like SAP Ariba sourcing, Ariba contract management, spend analysis, and supplier management. Okay. So these are the modules that we are getting in the uh, upstream. And coming to Ariba BNI, so we are calling it as P2P, whatever it is, procurement. We have the Ariba buying system and something called Ariba guided buying and commerce automation. Now commerce automation is slightly replaced with this Ariba supply chain collaboration. I will explain what do you mean by supply chain collaboration. Okay. And then we have the Ariba invoice management. Okay, this is embedded into the Ariba buying. If you want a specific invoice management without using Ariba buying, you can take the only Ariba invoice management at all. Okay, these are the downstream modules. Okay, now I will come to explain each and every module clearly and which we are going to discuss in our curriculum. Okay, uh, this is the P2P process. Everyone knows what do you mean by P2P process, procure to pay process. Yeah one question like if there is a downstream and upstream means like how we can differentiate between these things by seeing yes, the slides I will, come, I will okay. come to that yes yes i will come to that how you can differentiate the upstream and downstream process okay maybe in this slide itself you can understand okay so if you look at the p2p process those who don't know the p2p process basically when you do the procurement okay suppose in the home if you take a simple example of your home when you do any kind of procurement when you go out and purchase something 
okay there should be some requirement coming from okay uh, suppose let us say you want to buy a laptop why you are going to buy a laptop maybe you need that laptop to watch the movie for your games or for your kid to go for the online classes or you want to install something and you want to practice something or you need a laptop because there are some day-to-day -day activities to book the tickets and each and everything which your smartphone can't able to do okay all these things that is the reason there is a reason behind it there is a need behind it to buy the laptop okay similarly in the corporate world also in for a organization also there should be a need to buy something simply people won't waste their money and buy something right okay so there should be a strong reason there should be a need okay so in the corporate world if you take there are a lot of needs water bottles are required coffee a machine is required or coffee cups are required and similarly for your manufacturing there are a lot of things are required uniforms are required shoes are required or to manufacture suppose let us say you are working on a car manufacturing company Marty Suzuki. to manufacture your car you need a lot of raw materials right you need your tires you need the clutch and all these things you are assembling and then you are finally manufacturing your car okay all these things are required so for to buy anything there should be a need okay so once the need is there that we are calling it as a purchase requisition or the need or the request whatever it is so after that what you will do you will decide from where from which supplier you want to buy if you want if i take a simple example of your laptop once you decided to buy a laptop and then you will decide what is the configuration to buy and then you will simply go to some shop and buy a laptop obviously no you will do some research on the market what are the different brands are there different brands are nothing but here different suppliers and what is the different prices for those suppliers for each configuration and uh, from which supplier i can get it okay if you book a lenovo laptop that will come in one week if you book a hp laptop that will come in three days that is also one of my key consideration point okay so based on your things that you will decide from which supplier i want to buy the laptop okay if it is a one-time laptop buying see if it is a one-time buying then you will not worry about it but let us say your requirement suppose you want to buy the rice bag every month <clears throat> okay so how do you are planning you are making the business with the supplier suppose nearby ration shop or nearby uh, this grocery mart you made a deal with him hey whenever i need rice bag i will make a call okay and responding to this call he will deliver the rice bag now let us say you called in the morning there is one one uh, supplier the rice bag supplier he will immediately within two hours he is going to supply there is another supplier if you call today he will give it in after two days then you will be like hey i am not happy with this guy okay so in the corporate world what we will do is right all these things we will make it in a contract we need a legal agreement that so once you done with your supplier selection then you are making with a contract and that is nothing but your contract so contract we talk about the terms and conditions contract we talk about the pricing conditions contract will talk about the if you want to terminate what are the legal obligations we have all these things the way you receiving your offer letter right from a comp company similarly supplier also will have I, I will be give these commodities at this rate uh, once i receive the purchase order i will give within these days okay if i fail to give within this time maybe this is the penalty i can go on all these things would come and then who will take off the logistics who will take the logistic charges who will pay the, all these things will be there in the contract so basically in the upstream right upstream will have only basically two parts the one is the supplier selection part another one is the contract part it is not more in like operational things operation in the sense day-to-day -day procurement okay so that is our upstream downstream in the sense you are creating your purchase requisitions and creating your purchase orders and then creating your invoices receipts all these things will come into down, downstream okay so upstream looks like more into strategic in nature downstream is more in operational nature okay is this clear or uh, still you are uh, having some ambiguity okay no problem anyways once we learn more right once once we learn the curriculum then you would easily understand jyoti not a problem okay so this is the simple p2p cycle the same cycle we would be doing but in the ariba also okay so wherever you go the tool might be changing but the basic process would not be changing okay <clears throat> now let's go here so 
before learning ariba you should understand what do you mean by difference between the direct procurement and indirect procurement okay so in our curriculum we will be explaining what do you mean by direct procurement and indirect procurement i will just give a simple example okay suppose you are um, you are working for maruti suzuki and then you are manufacturing the cars see the end of the day you are selling your product called car by selling the car you are getting your re revenue so to manufacture the car you need lot of raw materials like tires okay if you see the tire the tire is not as uh, maruti product it's something like mrf or dunlop some other third party that means you are procuring it from them and then you are assembling it simply if you take your example of your laptop also the the processor is from the amd or intel okay that means you are assembling into your laptop okay end of the day by by pro you are procuring the intel from the uh, from the intel and then you are assembling into your laptop and then you are selling the laptop okay by then you are getting your revenue okay so that procurement is nothing but the purchasing of the materials which are raw materials that are going into the finished product manufacturing or which are directly involved in creating the revenue those things we are calling it as direct procurement in that procurement is which are supporting suppose i want to pack my laptop into a box then i should buy the box right that is nothing but indirect okay and i want to i, I should have gloves of all my employees they should wear the gloves to do the work but in fact the gloves are not creating any revenue for me i am just using them to manufacture my laptop or to manufacture my car but i am consuming it i need to to do my production so this we are calling it as indirect procurement simply water bottles like lot of things so we will be kinding procuring different kind of services as well services of room cleaning services of electrical services of maintenance all these things will come okay those which would support your manufacturing things that we are calling it as indirect okay so ariba is well suited for the indirect procurement okay now ariba can now you can also use for that procurement using ariba supply chain collaboration that we would be seeing in the ariba supply chain collaboration slide okay. this is the just integrated architecture how does it look okay so we are having all these things in the in the, in, in the ariba portal ariba sourcing ariba contracting okay ariba supply chain collaboration all these things you would be seeing it here Okay, in your spend management, we are calling it a spend management portal. In the spend management, you will get Ariba sourcing, Ariba contracting, and Ariba buying and invoice. Okay, these three would come. Okay, Ariba network is the link. Whatever the documents are going out and coming into the Ariba, everything will come through the Ariba network. Okay, so you are integrating Ariba network using CIG to your SAP system. and suppliers also if they want they can integrate otherwise they can simply log into the ariban supplier network and they can see the documents okay don't worry which of the terminology if you don't get here you will be understanding clearly during our curriculum so we will clearly discussing about each and every terminology and we will explain there okay so in the ariba sourcing what are the what is the cycle what are the things would be there okay ariba sourcing is mainly to determine the source suppose we have a requirement and then you don't know from where you want to buy and you want to find a competitive source or a potential source okay uh, suppose i want to buy a laptop now i want to check from which suppliers i can buy it then something called i create sourcing events in ariba we are calling it as bids in regular terminology tenders and bids okay the same terminology nothing but sourcing events in the sourcing events uh we create rfp rfp and auctions what do you mean by rfp what do you mean by rfp auctions that we will be seeing clearly in our curriculum we will be discussing complete ariba sourcing module okay and how that would be integrated to our sap system okay how the document flow would be there from sap system to sourcing and from sourcing to our sap system what are the documents that would be flowing we will be seeing only the documents flow we are not seeing the real time configuration i will explain you how the documents would be flowing okay what kind of documents would be flowing okay and then i will give some supporting documents since i don't have the ecc integrated architecture i cannot show you that okay that is the reason uh, we will be showing the process flow of the integrations okay coming to ariba sourcing and in the ariba sourcing we have the sourcing events how to create a sourcing event how to monitor the sourcing event and how to award the sourcing event these are the steps and cycles we will be clearly showing in the sourcing module okay and then we will seeing the ariba contracts so what is the life cycle of the ariba contract 
what do you mean by contract workspace what do you mean by contract request similarly in sourcing also we will see what do you mean by sourcing request sourcing project okay and then sourcing events in ariba contracts also we will be seeing what do you mean by contract request what do you mean by contract what do you mean by contract compliance what do you mean by contract amendments and how we were configuring the digital signatures or e signatures okay so if you see the contract life cycle right suppose if you want to take a simple of your rental agreement what you will do first you draft the agreement and then you will check with your owner or call the terms and conditions are properly phrased and framed or not and then you will sign it okay uh, after the signature is there that means the contract is live and force okay and then when it is going to expire suppose if there are some situations got changed how you are going to amend the contract similarly in the, in the tool also we are doing the same thing okay so how the contract functionality can be you can you are doing it okay all these things we are seeing in the ariba contracts okay this is the contract life cycle and then in the upstream we are seeing something called slp ariba supplier life cycle performance it is related to supplier data how you are registering the suppliers how the creating the supplier request see in the procurement you need supplier data right so how you are collecting the supplier data and once you you have a supplier you can qualify the supplier you can register the supplier all these steps are there okay so the sequence is you have mentioned here request supplier request supplier registration supplier qualification and supplier preference okay preference of the supplier and then disqualification so we will see this cycle okay and then we will see the process cycle how this would be integrated to mdgs okay uh, nowadays people are using the slp integrated to their sap mdg we will see the high level integration we are not seeing in detail integration of mdg since we don't have that mdg thing but we will see like what are the from the ariba point of view what are the things we need to configure or how the data would be framed okay ariba supplier risk is again the another module in the in the supplier management we will be seeing theoretically because uh, it's again uh, just the concept wise you need it nothing to do much in the supplier risk the configuration side and all if you understand the concepts behind the supplier risk that is more than enough okay we will be seeing what do you mean by risk assessment what do you mean by monitoring what do you mean by mitigation all these things we will see okay and then we have the spend analysis spend analysis is nothing but ariba reporting what kind of reports are there how you can create the reports on the sourcing on the contracts all these things we will be seeing okay uh, this is about the ariba reporting okay these are the modules that come under the ariba upstream okay which are strategic in nature now we are moving to the ariba p2p side buying and invoice okay in the buying and invoice we will discuss requisition to invoice payment the core p2p cycle purchase requisition purchase order goods receipt invoice and payment okay that is nothing but we are calling it as being and buying and invoice so what are the configurations you need to do for purchase requisitions what type of purchase requisitions are there okay and approval flow approval flows okay and purchase orders and how to configure the receipting okay how it is integrated with your sap system and what are the configuration that we need to do for invoicing and how it will be integrated to your sap system okay all these things we will be seeing clearly in our uh, p2p okay and then we will see what are the what do you mean by catalogs what do you mean by spot buy okay these are another features of sap ariba okay end of the day you should know what are the different features we have okay ariba is solution by design okay you know what do you mean by solution by design means by design it is meeting all the customer requirements so only thing is like you need to do bit kind of uh, tweakings of some of the settings so that it will meet the customer requirements but you cannot change like the sap right you can you cannot do more like enhancements by taking help of ABAP and you can they not cannot create a something new functionality in sap itself okay like in sap in ariba you cannot do that okay ariba enhancement is not at all given to us if anything is required we need we should reach to ariba and from there if they are they would like to do the enhancement they would do it for us or if they don't want to do it they will say they are they are not going to do that okay so if if you want to put any field level constraints all these things that ariba would be doing okay but you should know how to communicate with ariba so that's something called ariba connect we have something called ariba desk okay uh, in that uh, ariba we will see like if you what do you mean by ariba designated support how to create ariba change request cr we call it as srr cr service request or change request 
that I will be explaining you. Okay, how to do that? Okay. So this is the end-to-end -end framework of Ariba. <clears throat> okay. And then we will see the mass data and transactional data. Okay, what are the mass data we require in Ariba? How the mass data is coming? Whether you are creating mass data Ariba in the in, in the Ariba itself, or it is coming from any integrated environment. Suppose you ideally mass data will be there in other base ERP tools like SAP or Oracle, and then you will integrate to Ariba and you will pull all the data into your Ariba system. Okay, we will not recreate and reinvent the wheel. Uh, and then how the documents would be flowing from Ariba system to other system. Suppose you create a PO, Ariba is not a payment system. So you need this PO in SAP system or Oracle system to do the payment. So for that reference, PO is required. Okay. Or maybe if you are uh, creating something called your commitments or WPS, anyways, don't worry about what do you mean by commitment and WPS. At the time of PO, I will explain you all these things, GL accounts and all these things. Okay, so those things we will do in the ECC system. Okay, and then we need to send this data from Ariba to SAP and the PO gets created. So how the document is flowing through the CAG. Okay, what are the settings we need to do in the CAG? We will talk C in the CAG side. Okay, and we will see the CAG. Okay, cloud integration gateway, what, how to create a project, what are the message types and all. Okay, that we will be taking in the cloud integration gateway. Okay. And what do you mean by mass data? What do you mean by transactional data? How the transactional data are being transmitted from one system to other system that we are going to see clearly. Okay. And then on the process. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. So before this transactional data, there was one site. What was that? Uh... This one? Yes, this, yes, yeah, this, this one. This is just end to end. See, uh, once you start with your sourcing event, right? Sourcing process. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is the end of the sourcing process. End of the sourcing process, you would be able to determine your source. And after that, you might be creating a contract. And on the contract, you are going to create your purchase requisitions and purchase requisition to purchase order. And after that, receipt and invoice and payment. Okay. So this okay. is we are calling it as the two cycles called source to pay and uh, source to contract and P2P, pro procure to pay. Okay. So these three cycles we will be seeing in our daily curriculum. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in the Ariba supply chain collaboration, it is for direct procurement here. What are the documents you are creating in S4 system or ECC system? Suppose you create a PO. That PO will be transmitted to supplier through online via Ariba network. And he can do the confirmations. He can send the SIP notice. He can create the invoice on the PO on the supplier network itself directly. Okay, uh, he will not create something manually and then send it as a PDF and then we are creating it, all these things, okay? So that is the supplier collaboration. Those who worked on the supplier uh, uh, network in previously SNC, supplier network collaboration, this is the replacement of the supplier network. So here we are integrated through Ariba network. So whatever the, suppose you, you created some forecast plan, Okay, and then you are sending the forecast plan monthly or daily, whatever it is, yearly. And supplier will see, will send his commitment. Hey, I'm okay to send this, commit this forecast. I am, I can send this uh, material by, by this time. In this month, I can meet your requirement and all these things. Okay, that is nothing but commitment from his end. And after that, we will, we will complete our forecasting process. Okay, all these things we will see. What do you mean by forecast collaboration, what do you mean by SMS, supplier managed inventory, okay, and what do you mean by purchase order collaboration, what do you mean by consignment collaboration, how, what do you mean by quality notification collaboration, so all these things, theoretically, we will be seeing the process flows wise, okay. For this, the prerequisite is you should have MM experience. Without having MM experience, even if you uh, learn also, you can't do anything, because you should know how to create PO, you should know how to create PR and ECC system, okay. You should know how to create GR and uh, what do you mean by order confirmations, yes, and all this stuff you should know. Okay. But in our curriculum, we are not going to teach SAP MM. Uh, that's why we are explaining the process cycles of the Ariba supply chain collaborations. Okay. This is the architecture, and we will explain you through the CAG integration, okay, how the SAP systems are connected to your Ariba and what kind of transactions would be flowing, how they are flowing. 
okay that we will see clearly okay if something some document gets failed where to check how to check all these things will be checked so in addition to that what we would be seeing is we would be seeing the project methodology maybe agile or something we i am explaining only agile methodology okay and we will see how the implementation project works how the sub support project works and uh, we would be seeing the uh, architecture or some of the issues real time issues how we, how i resolve those issues okay and what is the root cause analysis how you can do it okay and there are something called the document terminology that you required suppose you work on a support project or implementation project those terminologies also i will introduce and i will show you those documents okay so this is all about our ariba course it would be taking 35 to 40 classes okay uh, when i say classes means hours okay based on our regularity so maybe uh, due to we will we are taking saturdays and sundays off not every saturday we are taking off but uh, sundays are damn sure we are taking off the saturdays i will let you know some of the saturdays i will take class and some of the saturdays i am not taking class that i will explain you okay and um, it might take the duration is not more than 2 months okay just be prepared with that and morning 9 to 10 is your class clear okay so i have seen sagar and shashi a hey, hey, sagar can just uh, quickly introduce yourself uh, yes hello yeah <clears throat> yes hi uh, everyone so i have uh, total 7 uh, year of experience in sap mm srm and kupa So mm -hmm. I just uh, want to learn this uh, Ariba. Great, great, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you worked on Coop and SRM means then things would be easy for you learning in Ariba. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, Shashi, I think you you introduced right. Yeah, yeah, I told you, sir. I am having the experience yeah, yeah. in SAP and okay. okay. Yeah. So, sir, what's up? Thanks. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So we we are going to create one WhatsApp group. Uh, once you guys all confirm after after. Uh, your first term of uh, payment okay and then we 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 create one whatsapp group and then we'll communicate in that group of the class okay uh, the timings and everything i'll keep i'll keep you posted on that and then i will share the uh, videos after the class or maybe uh, we can you can follow up with that with subhu and as well as the portal ariba portal also you can follow up with subhu okay any other questions so, you have yes. so, uh, so like um, how we will uh, practice ourselves means and um, um, what will be the duration uh, for this system access and is it like system access and all you can check with sub actually uh, it's, it's monthly basis i guess maybe you can talk to us okay okay and uh, so per day videos means like if we attend it first day sometimes what happens if we are not able to attend so we we will get the video right video. so that we can uh, attend that day session and we yes, can move yes. forward the water request is minimum two attendees are required to 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 continue my class so ensure that you are Sorry? attending minimum two okay. attendees are required to to continue the class okay. otherwise you know uh, otherwise I, i daily i need to give the videos <laughs> if nobody is joining and one more thing like the system which uh, is like how is it integrated with ecc no. as standard okay on. only ariba in the market so demo how... system you will, you will never get any integrated system okay okay and so But it is like i will show you like if it is integrated like i will show you what to do where to check the things yes yes means like just want to get an idea about like C cig yes, so that is what required quality. that is that and is one question that while you just said that if there is any enhancements in ariba are there if some 
changes at field level or somewhere it enhancements are required from the client side so that will at the time the consult ariba consultant have to connect with ariba um, support yes, yes. sap ariba so yes. they will do it for, they will check it and they will do it right we yes, so we don't do have we will test we will test so we don't have any authorization in enhancements no 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 okay so it is means like we will do only the existing um, uh, standard ariba configurations only right exactly exactly yes so here there is no customization if there is any customization it will be with uh, um, ariba sap team exactly so there are few things that we call it as template configuration see whatever the things out of box you are just configuring and you are arranging that okay okay so we at least we will get an idea about like uh, what all the configurations will do yes, in sir, um, complete idea you will get the complete okay. idea so okay. so thank you. Uh, from when means this classes will be starting from monday yes, next we'll monday we'll be in touch with subbu subbu will update you on that okay so sure, so sure. thank you okay so actually, uh, yeah i have some i have yeah. one question so uh, subbu will take the classes or uh, you will get no i am taking the classes so he is only the you know he will help you in organizing and infrastructure and all these things coordination point of coordination okay okay so uh, currently are you working in ariba yes okay 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 yes yeah. cool. and uh, what about the uh, fee structure and all all see all the infrastructure related you can talk to subbu okay so we will let you know all this stuff okay 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 and uh, all the integration part you will cover right uh, how can we connect uh, integrated with sap and other systems like uh, uh, oracle and all yeah that is what i told right so i cannot show you the live integration i just show you how the things would be done Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, nowhere in the market, you know, demo systems are integrated with any of these systems, so we cannot show you the live integration unless it is on a project. We can show, but mm -hmm. I don't have the infrastructure with me right now, so I just want to be honest before you guys. What I can show you, that only I will commit and I will tell. Okay. Okay. But okay. if you come up with your SAP experience, then you can easily do the things. But you should know only the guidance, how to do, where to do. One yes. more thing, Asuk. Uh, sorry. Uh, one more thing that, like, in within uh, two months, in these, uh, if we practice means for one hour or two or whatever it is, like, so what? Do you, what do you think? Like, as a, so I am also from a um, MM background of four five years. So what mm -hmm. do you think that how soon? i will grab send how soon i will be means like what my idea is just i said that after completion of this course i will do some like two uh, two three months again i will give my time for practicing ariba then after that how you think that means like is it possible for me to um, do an implementation or support an ariba project in okay. anywhere Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jyoti. To answer your question, right? So first of all, it all depends upon the individual capability how they are absorbing. Um, yes. So that is the this is a provided comment. Okay. So provided if you are if you are quick learner, then obviously within two months you can learn each and everything. My my videos are more than enough. Maybe you need to go through once or twice just to understand and digest the terminology. Okay. Sure. Sure. Ariba in the Sorry. Ariba terminology important if you are mm guy right you just need to under the same thing you are doing in mm but the terminology is important yes 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 and uh, um, so means like you uh, in we, will we get an idea about means like get in support of how to clear the um, certification or all those things also the so certification uh, i will give you the books you need to go through the books and then you have to give a certification item but from our side we are not giving any support on the certification so resume preparation you will yeah that right. we will do resume preparation entry preparation we can do it sure, sure. thank you yeah
or maybe uh, one